Matt. I'm Pat. And we're here with? Erica. Yeah. So, we're here at Colorado Anime Fest. And how are things going so far? It's been good. It's been a long day, but it's been really fun here. Everybody's super nice. Like, super, super nice. It's good. <laughs> we like to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> Try to be well there. Yeah. So, let's see. So, let's just dive right in. So, I'm going to try and do some some fun questions and some that are just more run the mill. So Boring questions. Yeah, you know, some straightforward stuff. So one thing that I was kind of interested in reading about you, when you were in school you studied graphic design. Yeah, I kind of started off doing that and then I was like, this has too much math, so then I moved to animation. Well actually I was going to do game dev and then I was like, that's way too much math. So then I decided to do the animation thing because I, I like drawing a lot. Um, so actually, yeah, I have a bachelor's in arts in animation. Nice. But I paid like two grand, uh, 20 grand for uh, absolutely nothing. I ended up not doing anything with that degree. So. But I'm debt free. That's only good. 20. Yeah. But I'm debt always... free though, yeah. yeah. So paid all that off and didn't do anything with it. Anyone that's a millennial being debt free, that's a. Yeah, uh, I yeah. feel very accomplished. That's an accomplishment. Right you should <laughs> that deserves a participation program. <laughs> So, uh, do you still do graphical design work now, just even as a hobby? Um, or, every, you know, draw or... every once in a while, like, I mean, I use it kind of to, uh, I, I've made, like, my own convention banners before, and, oh, like, nice. sometimes people are like, hey, can you help me out with, like, what do you think of the aesthetic of, like, this logo or something like that? And I'll be like, mm, I think that's, it's, like, too heavy on the side, or, like, you need to put an outline on it to make that a little bit more, like, stand out and to go outside. Hmm. That's, I mean, it's basic stuff. But. And you said it was animation you ended up in? Yeah, animation. Awesome. I guess you could animate your own thing and then voice it. Oh, I wasn't particularly great at it. See, my, my actual, <laughs> like, thing was, the thing I was actually good at was still life drawing. So, like, mm. if you give me a bullet group and you know, enough time, I could totally, like, sketch the crap out of that. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> well, I'm also awesome. better at drawing. One thing I always wanted to do. Which one did you say was a lot of math? Math is good. Uh, uh, game dev. Just I also do like all vectors and math and yeah. stuff. I can yeah. do numbers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should get out of finance after all. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. So, um, what has been your favorite project that you've worked on? Or, uh, not to, not to pit no, one yeah, against yeah. more than the other. Um, that's so hard. If you can't do favorite, what about maybe most unique? That's one of the strangest experience. Any of them? Huh. Um, I've been talking a lot about Tales of Azuria this weekend just because it's a mm -hmm. game that recently came out. Right. And I was a huge fan of the Tales of Azuria series. So yeah, we definitely didn't buy it and definitely don't, I don't have it at all. You home. don't know anything yeah, about that. No, yeah, nothing. no, nothing. I definitely didn't buy a You're Japanese right? copy. Yeah, I, I didn't buy a Japanese copy and a uh, standard copy and a collector's <laughs> edition copy of it. No, no, no. who would do that? I didn't do that. That's not how it, I wasn't story. that excited about it. It's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we took Dark Souls 3 like two weeks before it came out in the United <laughs> to States. Oh, we went to Akiya Bar and bought it and came back and we were like awake at 4 a.m. anyway. So we were like, oh, you guys want to hang out and play Dark Souls 3? Yeah, let's do that. So, <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's worth it. It's I went worth a little it. crazy with that one, but I was so super excited about it. And uh, when I got the audition, I actually like cried. That's how excited I was. I just get really <laughs> emotional sometimes when I'm really excited about stuff. I so. understand. Right? Well, Tales is an amazing series to it is, be yeah. a part of. Yeah. So. I was super excited, and it's a good one too. Like I feel like I haven't played a really, really good one since Abyss, because that's like one of my favorite games ever. You're yeah. almost done with that. I'm almost at the end of the abyss. Oh, at yeah. the end of the abyss? The yeah. first one that really the abyss. Was, yeah. and maybe I'm saying it wrong, maybe you might know better. I always said Exilia, the Jew I think Gala. it's just Zil Zilia. Zilia? Because I used Zilia. to say Exilia too, but I think some of the cast people have been like, it's Zilia. So. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind I'm of trying now. to get more email. Yeah. yeah. That one, I don't know. That was I'm not like first. authority on it though, so. I'm not sure in the game. But it's I mean, a beautiful game. <laughs> we like stand alone. That's true. That's true. So it's been like really fun being a part of that. Yeah, it's been really cool, and I actually I feel like that's one of the things I've been signing more often than not lately, just because mm -hmm. I feel like the game's so easy to get a hold of. Um, but yeah, it's been really cool. Is that recording experience for a game any different than like doing it for like a series, like an anime, or? Uh, yeah, because like for an anime, you generally have the picture because the you know series is now for the most part, uh, unless you work in Texas, and they have a different game plan of how From they Texas, do things now. Right yeah. Here. Um, so, so LA, we, uh, we get all the footage beforehand and we can, right. you know, we get to see everything while we're recording, but for games, usually you don't dub to picture. So a lot of it is just kind of like your own thing, unless they have to timelines. Like for, 
for Brasilia, for the most part, we pretty much had free reign to go as long or as short with lines as we needed to. But for the, the attack lines, those were all timed. So we had to match the Japanese timing specifically. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why sometimes in Tails games you'll hear like, you know, do it big, do it big, do it big, you know? Yeah. So it yep. just goes really fast and people make fun of it, but there's a reason for it, you know, it's, they have to do it that way. That's the only way they can. A lot of demon thing. Yeah. A lot of ruination thing. Ruination too. thing. Yeah. I use that. On the I use that. All just spam time. my axe. Like <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Well, I'm a little curious too, and this is going back a bit. I'm sorry if it's boring, but how did you go from the animation sort of idea to voice acting? Like, what caused that switch? Um, well, I've always loved uh, animation and video games, mm -hmm. so just anything in animation was just kind of like my passion. Mm -hmm. And uh, I drew a lot when I was a kid. And you know, I got into anime when I was like 13, so it just kind of came into me you know, doing anime characters, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but then I started becoming more interested in voiceover around when I'd say like Final Fantasy X came out, because I'm a huge Final Fantasy God, fan. I definitely didn't buy the HD. Oh, I did too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have a fun that. one here. Uh, do you have a favorite Final Fantasy game? Oh yeah, eight. eight? It's so corny, nice. but it, I love one. it. It's like just trashy pleasure for me. That's, yeah. that's what eight is. I that's guess a good, that that's a good one. I, I, I personally like nine, but nine I mean, is really eight, good too. Eight is like kind of where I started with the whole, yeah. the whole series. So. Yeah, it's usually, uh, I, I found that most people, their favorites is the first one they played and eight was my first. Yeah. So, but I can really appreciate nine. Nine is like my Yeah, favorite. I liked nine just, I was probably because it was the first one I actually beat. Mm. I probably had. Yeah. The yeah, cliche for me is that I would say seven because I'm an older brother and mm. yeah. I I was too young to probably be able to handle the game at the time, but I had a brother that was like able to do it. So I, I mean, I didn't, beat it. I didn't beat it until yeah. college. I was not well equipped. Uh, yeah, I was bad <laughs> at games. As a kid. Yeah. I'm still bad at games, but at least I can beat things now that I wasn't able to beat as a child. That's fair. Well, um, so this is going to be an off, uh, probably a question you haven't come across yet. Hopefully, if you. See. So of all the people that you portrayed as, if you had to. Mary, fuck, kill oh my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the characters you portrayed as. Who would they be? Uh, just, um, Have you actually been asked that before? I can't remember. If I we'll was, I probably one. blocked it out yeah. of my brain. <laughs> How um, dare you? Uh, I, it's hard to say because I play a lot of kids. Oh, no, that's true. And a lot of young boys in particular. So I, it's something I don't generally think about a lot. Because <laughs> um, like, even Ryu goes too young. And yeah. I'm all about like legal age. Um, so, oh, what adults have I played? I played like you could... one adult <laughs> ever. So. I would fuck where you would kill that one adult. You're like, <laughs> yeah. Can I do it to the same person? No? Yeah. In any order? <laughs> In any order. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna kill him, fuck him, and then marry him. <laughs> We might, we may have to cut that. <laughs> no, we're not gonna do that. Oh no, people are gonna think weird things. It's about okay. It. it was me saying it, so you know. Okay. Yeah, you don't we'll actually like, put post it out a video. Be like, <laughs> she's God. done in this industry. <laughs> yeah, I could. yeah. It's hard to choose because I played a lot of children. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to plead the fifth on that one. We need a different question. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'll be your man. Which of your characters would you adopt? <laughs> <laughs> All of them. I love children. No, I don't love children. Like, um, They're just expensive pets. They, they really. They, yeah, that's a good point. I, already I mean, I like thinking of like a chia pet, a small version of you that you get to watch grow. Yeah. Right. But, yeah. but then they. Grow I've been told that I'm. That's years. a misconception that I. Like. <laughs> Apparently, it's a lot more. Work I'm sure that. it's different when you actually have kids. Like, so you probably think of it differently if you ever had kids. Yeah. For sure. I mean, I haven't really thought differently. Oh, you do you have to? I was just saying, like, wait a minute. Seven. Seven? Seven? No. No, please. No, God, no. Oh, man. Let's see. Was that like a serious question? You're like, what you're like, you're done? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one who's you about Gardner. Yeah, I know. I would adopt Aladdin out of your characters. I mean, Aladdin's pretty cute. The small wizard child? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you just have to be uh, careful with him, like grabbing boobs and stuff. It's true. Oh, Probably so. in in this country, that gets you in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I love that. Where did you learn that behavior? <laughs> From his father. What sort of role model are you? <laughs> <laughs> you just look shocked. 
Sorry for that. Yeah, I will. I haven't really watched uh, Matt Murray. Murray. That's so. good. I swear to you. I know it's Moggy. I just still haven't watched No, I know. I know. It's, it's hard to get used to. It's like a, my character in Seven Deadly Sins, Deanne. Like, mm-hmm. lately, because other people call her Diane, and that's how the American way right, of pronouncing it, um, I've been calling her Diane lately, even though we recorded it as Deanne. Yeah. So I have to catch myself a lot. Yeah. It does, I mean, if people say it, Moggy, Maggie, yeah. Magi, I don't care. I'm just like, whatever. You like it, I like it, it's cool. Yeah. It's a good way to approach it. Yeah. I'll say laissez faire. Yeah. Let's see. You got anything else? Nope, that was the. That was, <laughs> that was it. I thought you, it just, you had. I was just like, like, let's see. <laughs> in a roadblock I haven't quite had to do before, so. Favorite breakfast food? Ooh. Oh, man. That's a tough one. Now you're just, just subverting. Now I'm doing like the corporate breakfast. welcoming questions. It's like, tell us about yourself, your name, where you're from, uh, where'd you go to school, what's your favorite type uh-huh. of cooking? That's easy. And something special. Is it? Something. it is. White chocolate macadamia nut. That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's breakfast. I do like uh, either over easy or scrambled, or no, yeah, over easy or scrambled eggs, depending on what food I'm in, and then hash browns. Toast. I'm getting like an on the go toast, fried egg, and yeah. a bit of avocado. That's good. Nice. That's easy. Let's see. I just like food. So, I don't know, I don't what? Yeah, I was going to say, I, I found an answer for that. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, let's see. Okay, and then another one that you probably heard before. Is there anything coming up that you're excited about that you can talk about or that you can't? Oh, I mean, there's plenty of things I can't talk about that I'm excited about. Um, hopefully, those will get announced soon. But uh, I just got announced um, that I'm in a Funimation project. Like, oh, I'm sweet. from Los Angeles, so I do a lot of stuff like that. But uh, I've been lucky enough to have. A lot of good friends in Texas, so my friend Cliff Chapin uh, brought me in for the series Gothic, which is or Gothic Gothic, um, which is uh, it's like a seven-year-old series that kind of got mm-hmm. in that weird like um, like Bandai I think had licensed it, and then they mm-hmm. kind of fell under. Yeah. So Funimation rescued the title, and they finally dubbed it last year, and I am mm-hmm. Avril in that, and it was a really cool like mystery detective series, which I've never really done anything like that before, so that was pretty neat. And then uh, we just did, we just announced, uh, uh, what is it called? Cyborg 009 Call of Justice, which is really cool, because I, I haven't That's, seen the actual thing yet. Is that Netflix? Yeah. Yeah. They just, they just put that up pretty recently, and uh, I was a huge fan of Cyborg 009 uh, when it was on Konami, so that was really exciting for me. So I guess which character yeah. have you had the most fun with, right? That's hard stuff too. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with Gone right now, not Jacker. He's like, he kind of reminds me of Aladdin, and Aladdin was one of my first like big anime roles. So it's nice kind of going back to that like chipper, cheerful boy character. Mm-hmm. But he has a serious moments too, and the, the cool thing about Hunter Hunter is that it's a lot darker, and I like stuff like that where I get to be like really, you know, action mm-hmm. shonen protagonist. I, I really like doing stuff like that. So. So, if there is a series that you would wi- wish you would have been in, what would it be? Oh, uh, one that she feels like she kind of missed out on. Uh, you just mean like Step I've auditioned for, or just in general? Or just in general. Um, I really, I'm a huge fan of the anime Fruit Basket. Oh, okay. And um, I would, love, I keep telling people like if they did a Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood style remake of Fruit Basket, made it closer to the manga, mm-hmm. I'd love to be anything like that really. Um, but other Fair than enough. that, like I was a huge fan of. I mean, I still play it every once in a while, League of Legends, mm-hmm. or like Overwatch. Yeah. Like, I haven't auditioned for Overwatch, um, but I've auditioned for League of Legends for a few characters and haven't been able to get into it yet, but I'm like, one day, one day I'll get in there. Competitive gaming, huh? Uh, I mean, technically, but I'm very, I'm super casual, so <laughs> I don't do like ranked or anything. I respect that. I've never played ranked in Overwatch. I would say yeah. I'm terrible at Overwatch. Yeah. <laughs> I play with my boyfriend and friends. Every time someone talks about competitive Overwatch, they're like, it's really toxic. And I'm like, all right, so I'm just not going to yeah, do that. Exactly. It's going to yeah. leave the fun, fun element in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll get berated in casual instead. Yeah. I just, I mean, I play on PS4, so I don't have to listen to anyone I don't want to listen to. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> We're on PC, so it's... Oh, you have yeah, to. Master Race. Oh, my God. I mean, I have it for PC, too. I'm just not really a PC gamer. I'm like... I feel casual. I but... forget how hard... 
uh, shooters are on PC, like with the online community. Yeah. Because Overwatch, like I used to play like Halo like years ago, and then when I got <coughs> back into Overwatch, like with you guys, oh my god, I forgot like how good everyone else is, and I was just like, this is impossible. And you see all those like ridiculous shots where people are like, yeah. like I mean, get it through like just for, like for me, I was like, so I was like a child soldier <laughs> when it came to PC gaming. I paid for, played ABP two when I was eleven, wow. so like I've been doing point and click shooting. Uh, yeah. uh, I still still some am not, not up to that par. That was not me. I was also a comp- I was always a console gamer. Well, now I like plug my Xbox controller into my PC mm. when I play. Like, yeah. The new Mass Effect. Or yeah. Mass Effect. Mass Effect. Mass Effect. Yeah, I've been playing on PC with an Xbox One controller. I just like the controller. I should probably do that, but I'm too busy. And if PC. I'm gonna play in a controller, I'm just gonna play on a PC yep. anyway. Fair enough. All right. Cool. Well, uh, I think that's actually all the time. Thank you yeah. for taking time to chat with us. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then uh, that's it for us. Uh, until next time, we'll see you guys later. Thanks. See you Bye now.